Now we're going to take a look at the rear panel of the SDA 8300 amplifier. From left to right, you can see here we've got the GPIO input, we've got Ethernet for communication, and my blue link, which is coming out of my SDEC 4500P and into the first amplifier. If I had more than one amplifier, I would daisy chain out from out to my next amplifier. On the right hand side, you can see this light blinking. This is actually showing me the preset. You can see it's blinking twice. That's for preset number two, which is in fact configuration number one. Uh, preset number one is a blank preset with no routing internally connected. So out of the factory box, they will always blink twice. This is normal. If I want to change it, I use one of the configuration jumpers which are included in the amplifier. I'm going to use configuration jumper number two. I'm going to plug it right into the GPIO. And you can see here, my preset light is now blinking three times. Preset number three, which is configuration number two. And this is outlined in the manual. If I want to take the amplifier out of that configuration and into configuration number three, I use the alternate jumper, which is also labeled as trigger number two, configuration number three. And I plug that in. You can see now it's blinking four times for preset number four, which is configuration number three. If I wanted to return to the factory default of preset uh, number two, which is configuration number one, I would need to use Audio Architect.